Hi guys, this is Oishi and I welcome you back to my channel Macro Media. So, today I'm going to be sharing another mind-blowing travel vlog with you all, and especially after the amazing response you've given to my Manchester and Lake District travel vlogs. So, if you haven't checked out my previous travel vlogs yet, then I'm going to link it down in the description box below. Please make sure to check it. You're going to love it. So, Today I'm going to be unraveling my travel stories from the world famous Scottish Highlands and Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. I was extremely eager to visit Edinburgh, not only because it is voted as the fourth most beautiful city in the world, but because J.K. Rowling, the world famous author of the Harry Potter series, drew inspiration from a graveyard called Greyfriars Kirkyard in Edinburgh to name some of her Harry Potter characters such as Robert Potter, Hogwarts Professor, Minerva McGonagall, Rufus Scrimmager, the Minister of Magic, Alistair Mad-Eye Moody, and Lord Voldemort. So here we were on a train from Manchester to Edinburgh. The first class four-hour journey passed in minutes, eating and chatting with fellow French travelers, with the gorgeous English countryside scenery whizzing past us. When we reached Edinburgh, the Gothic feel of the city along with its fairy tale vibe got us so hooked that we ended up walking to our airbnb in royal mile with four heavy luggage bags thankfully our accommodation was just 500 meters away from the station uh oh we had a surprise waiting for us at the airbnb the owner had left us with a poem with clues on how to find the apartment key but finally the stunning views from the apartment and a comfortable setup made it worthwhile to solve the key puzzle i guess in the evening, we visited the Royal Botanic Gardens, walking around 72 acres of beautiful, awe-inspiring landscape with my family, filled me with bliss and wonder. We explored the world-famous rock gardens, took in the serenity of the Chinese hillside, and strolled amongst the magnificent giant redwood trees in the woodland garden. Time flew as we got sucked into the world of selfies and pictures in this dream of a garden. Hopping back on the double-decker, we explored the rest of the city, full of beans. The brilliant Georgian architecture, lively streets and carefree people all around us had us clicking away merrily. Starving by now, we headed for the award-winning Macca's Gourmet Mash Bar for dinner. The slow-cooked lamb shank, the smoked cheese sauce brinjal bake and the char-grilled chicken in whiskey peppercorn was so delectable that it had us drooling in gourmet ecstasy. Next morning, we were waiting eagerly by the side of economist Adam Smith's statue for our trip to the mysterious Scottish Highlands. The handsome Scottish driver, wearing the traditional Scottish kilt, chattered away pointing out all the sights on the way. Our first stop was Helix, where we saw the world-famous Kelpies. Kelpies are 30-meter big horse-head sculptures, depicting the horse-powered heritage of Scotland. During the loo break, my brother and I gobbled up two boxes of sweet and juicy Scottish strawberries, like we'd never had before. Back on the bus, we enjoyed the journey through the heavenly lakes called Loch and Lochins in Scotland. There are more than 31,000 loch and thousands of castles in Scotland which gives this country a mysterious Harry Potter vibe. I was over the moon to spot reindeers on the way, so asked our driver to pull over to feed them and pet them. Finally, we reached our destination, the beautiful Inverness in the Scottish Highlands. It was a homely bungalow with beautiful manicured lawns, camera-friendly ducks, steaming coffee and Scottish cakes. Come evening and we set out for the Caledonian Canal, a place so beautiful that it felt like we were transported to a parallel universe. No points for guessing, we took ample pictures to fill up an album. We were super excited to visit Urquhart Castle the next day, which played a prominent role in the Scottish struggle for independence. It is the most scenic spot to view Loch Ness and the prime location to spot Nessie, 
a creature in the Scottish folklore that is said to inhabit Loch Ness. We spent some time chilling in the garden outside the castle with a friendly European couple and some friendly ducks, then took the boat for a ride across Loch Ness, the only freshwater loch in the Scottish Highlands. The memory of the breathtaking scenery and the cool climate fills me with joy and wonder even today. Then we made our way to the Cairngorm National Park. Voted as one of the top 20 places to visit in the world, it is UK's largest national park and offers many things to do, including water sports, snow sports, wildlife watching and some incredible high and low level walking and cycling routes. Our last destination for the day was the historic Caledonian Pine Forest, which resembles what the Scottish Highlands looked like about 5,000 years ago. A unique ecosystem, the Scots Pine Woods are home to a variety of rare flora and fauna, some of which aren't found anywhere else in the British Isles. But a combination of reduced rainfall, felling for timber, overgrazing and deer herbivory made the highlands into its current contrast of epic locks and open, treeless landscapes. Finally, we got back to Edinburgh in the evening and had enough energy to continue with our walking tour. The striking purple bushes found in every other walkway caught my attention. Dinner took us to the popular Bella Italia through the lively Edinburgh streets. The sight of the Edinburgh Castle the Scottish bagpipers spreading cheer through their music on the streets. Scottish men walking around in bright kilts. The grand Gothic architecture of the buildings. The gardens and the neoclassical buildings. The bustling Edinburgh restaurant scene and its vast array of hard-to-beat pubs gave us a warm and touristy feeling in our hearts. The walk back home to burn all the calories from the banana toffees and the cheesy pizzas felt like an adventure in itself given the biting cold weather and the city's groovy vibe. Edinburgh, the city of character and uncanny architecture kept me in bright spirits. Right up to London, our next travel stop. But that is for another travel vlog guys. Till then, stay tuned and subscribe to Macroon Media. Like this video and let me know in the comment section below as to what you liked the most about Edinburgh and the beautiful Scottish Highlands. And also share this video with your friends, the ones that you want to travel these beautiful locations with. Till then, take care, stay well. Bye!